Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series in the OP1 field where I cover a topic in about five minutes. This is session 1.7, and I figured, you know, we got our track. We've been, we mixed it, we kind of got some, I'll scare quote, mastering effects on it, and pretty happy with where it is right now. I know it's a little short, it's only a two-bar loop, but I'm going to show you how you can now record this out and get as much out of it as you can without having to go super crazy. But, you know, obviously, you got external effects, like you got a SP404 Mark II or something, you can go record over there. But let's just keep it within the OP1 field. First thing to do, you can hit COM, and this will get you the ability to actually record whatever you want to this mix down. Just have to hit button four. Um, if you hit three, you got two sides, you get an A and B. So if you want to record to, if you have something you've already recorded and you want to do something to a new track or you want to try to get two different ones together, just flip it between A and B. So I can hit record. It's going to start recording. And when I'm ready, it'll start playing. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is hit shift. I'm going to mute one, two, three, and I'm just going to play four. So we're just going to start with that um, arpeggio for the strings. Maybe we'll hit shift, bring in the drums. drop out the drums, bring in these chords, then maybe bring everything. And drop out the drums and the strings. Drop out the bass. And come in, we'll bring everything back in. And, I don't know, start thinking about an outro, maybe let it go again. Bring out the drums and the bass here. Bring out the chords. And here, I don't know, we'll just end it. We're good. Go back to calm, hit stop, just record it out of minute and 20 although i know a lot of that was me talking and not the actual track going but that's kind of how i usually think about how to take songs of the op1 now another thing that you can do just so you know is i, I know we're hold on, one two three four unmute everything so we've got everything playing if i wanted to actually come in i know i have like uh so I, on track three, I've got an alternate sound, something that I could do. Like, let's say I wanted to make a new, I can go in here and go out over, whoops, out. Now I just made this a four bar loop, but let's say I hold shift down. I'll go back here. We'll go in. I, I've got this different, it sounds pretty much the same, but let's say I want a different set of drums here record or actually let's just take something from something else I've played we will go to track one we'll lift this I'll drop it down just so I keep it and then I drop this down now we've got another drum and it sounds different but some of the fun that you can do is if, if you you can string together these uh, different chunks of loops that are in this case it's two bars if I hit play I'll turn it down a little. If I hit sh hold shift while it's playing and hit the left or right arrow, you can bounce around different parts of songs that you have on your timeline. So I could actually switch to a completely different song if I hold shift and go here. And this is just a different song I was recording. And come back, shift in the right arrow. So you're not... You don't have to put everything out exactly on the timeline, I guess is what I'm just trying to show you. You can kind of mix and match different elements of songs. You can cut things out so you're not having to fiddle with the mutes and unmutes. There's a lot you can do with these transport controls and moving around your tracks on the OP-1. Anyway, guys, I'm just about out of battery on my GoPro here. I think that's about, that's about it for today. And... Uh, Yes, guys, keep making music, keep having fun, and peace.